The last time cricket was an Olympic sport was 1908. 104 years later, Colin Brown and I made our way to the Uxbridge Cricket Club, site of the Clydesdale Bank 40, to take in the match and find out if the cricket community is ready for cricket to make its return to the Olympics. It would be thrilled if it were to be uh, back into the Olympics. It was in it before, as you know. It's an increasingly worldwide game. Uh, big efforts on part of the International Cricket Council or the people who manage the, the game worldwide to increase it to as many countries as possible. The cricket community acknowledges that for cricket to be successful in the Olympics, the game would have to be in its 2020 or short form. It's not my favourite form. It's, it's, it's quick and exciting and to the general public it's probably the best thing, it's the best type of cricket to take someone who has never seen a game before. Short and sharp. Yeah, short and sharp. It would be, be very difficult to fit. What, what they would call proper cricket into a into a test match, into an Olympics program, but you could certainly play 2020 cricket. As a county cricket club chairman, Lovett worries that adding another international event to an already overcrowded schedule could damage the local game. So we have a very crowded international schedule. It's already too crowded, yeah. to be honest, and so to fit it one more competition in, because we play, they have a World Cup every well basically every two years and there isn't really room for that. Steve Fletcher believes copying football system in the Olympics is a potential solution for Lovett's worries. So then you could technically utilize the abilities of not necessarily even then you're you're playing in in our season, but then you can actually utilize the benefits of younger players and maybe having two or three senior players making up the rest of the squad. The problem for the 2016 games in Rio could be as simple as not having a pitch to play on. They don't actually play much cricket out there, so I don't know where they're going to actually play the games. I mean, it takes a long, long time to get a cricket wicket ready. It takes about five or six years for it to settle down for a proper game. Unless you use artificial spits, it's the only way they could do it. Despite all the concerns, the cricket community would love to see cricket in the Olympics. Well, it would still, it would still be cricket, and I suppose any cricket is better than none at all.